For people the world over, better information leads to better lives. And this is true also for reconciliation and building peace. But not all the important news make the headlines. In Rwanda, there's a severe lack of resources in the media. Less than 12% of the population has a television. So Internews brings moving images using its mobile cinema to the most remote parts of Rwanda. And the screenings even reach North Kivu and Congo. A film coming to the village is a big event, especially for those who have never seen a film before. As soon as we park our vehicle, a crowd of people encircles us. Immediately, young men from the village volunteer to unload the material. Today, there is going to be a screening in the Protestant church of Bugeshi village district of Rubavu. The team begins to unpack the equipment. The big giant screen arouses the greatest curiosity. Outside, the villagers are being called for the screening. They will soon pick the hall. Even the window sills will be occupied. The children are the first to take their seats in the church. The film today is about the return of Rwandan combatants from Congo and their reintegration into Rwandan society. This is a key location. We are four kilometers from the border with Congo where Rwandan FDLR combatants are still active. Maybe they have relatives in the crowd. The film is about to begin. One of the internews team members explains the topic of the film and that afterwards there will be time for everyone to ask questions and make comments. As the film begins, silence takes over the hall. Everyone's eyes and ears are wide open. We even have visitors from as far as Switzerland. <laughs> the first reactions are intense. The crowd has indeed recognized someone from their village. There's even a spectator recording parts of the film on his phone to view later, if it works. These films, shown in North Kivu, have convinced active FDLR combatants to demobilize and return to Rwanda. This is the power of information flows when people share their thoughts, breaking taboos. The film is now over and the internews facilitator invites people to the microphone. The little boy has the courage to speak out first. We ask what he remembers. I saw a white woman. <laughs> the ice has been broken. Taking turns, the adults come to the microphone to share their thoughts.
One woman comes to share a secret. It's time to pack up. The children are the last ones to leave the place. People will go home, but the discussion will certainly continue for a long time. And we will also remember this screening at the foot of the Niragongo volcano, where images don't come by very often. <laughs>